Okay, now I'm going to teach you how to actually get started with the Visual Studio, Visual Basic. Um, it might look confusing at first, it did to me, but I had a friend that helped me out, so I'll help you out. So it's very simple actually, when, once you learn what to do. Just click New Project here. When you open Visual Studio, it should open that Start page, um, depending on which version you have. And then by default, it put me over to Windows Apps. If you have Visual Studio Community, it will do that. So you just need to click Visual Basic. Otherwise, it'll open Visual Basic here automatically, probably. Then select Windows Forms applica application and name it whatever you want. <laughs> Bing. Uh, there we go. Click OK. It'll take a minute. Then, whoa. Okay, so to test your program, all you do is you click start right here. And so that's about all our program does at the moment. I'll show you some things we can do. Well, first of all, that icon looks a little annoying, right? So I would recommend um, a site. It's called pick2icon.com. And I'll actually, I'll use a label here to write that in link label. Here, we'll teach you teach you this. This is a good simple way to get started. And then we go down here to text. That might not automatically, so you just have to you can put it A through Z or you can put however you like. And then just put in whatever. It's, uh, I'm putting pick to icon.com. And to actually make it go there, there's a simple line of code that we use. So double click on that on the link label, then put in this code system.diagnostics.process.start and then parentheses quotes www.pick2icon.com. See if it works. So now click save here, save all start well see if it works yep it works so that's already a new trick you know but it doesn't have to be just with uh, 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 with uh, you can't you can use that line of code with to, just to open anything the basically this system dot diagnostics dot process dot start is saying We'll go to this address. It could be an address like uh, C program files, you know, anything. It'll open it with the default program that that the user has um, set as their default program to open that file or that link or whatever. See, my default is Internet Explorer. It might yours might be Chrome, so it'll open it in Chrome. So, um, and then what other useful thing could we add? Well, how about we name this program first of all? Let's just go down here to oh, select the form. Go down here to text. We'll call it uh, helpful links. Or something I don't know. Just for an example. And um, we can add add a button. Say okay. Well, what is that button going to do? Well, let's see doesn't do anything well first let's give it a name about and double oh actually before we do that now you can even add another form when I say form I mean one of these so project add windows form Just call it whatever you want to call it now this is the cool part Double click the button, you get into the code again, put in this code, and then test your program and see what happens. Uh, see it. Uh, oh, yeah. Form2.show dialog. And if you look at that carefully, you might already be able to know what it, what it is. But save it, run it, click the button. 
and another form pops up. So simple. Just a few letters and you can do such powerful things. It's great. Let's go to form two. Now you want to write something about, you know, uh, about your program, right? So search for label. This time we're not going to do a link label. We're going to do a simple label. Put it in the corner there. And then I if I I would click this down arrow for text right here and let's get rid of that. And say that, whatever this program blah, blah, blah. Okay? And you can yeah. Okay? So and then you can even let's show you this. Resize your form, right? And maybe we want to make it a, a fixed tool window or something. I forget where you do that. Just a sec. Window state. Is it? No. Uh, just a minute. Sometimes, this is one thing about Visual Studio. It's a little bit hard to find. Here we go. Fixed tool window. There. Okay. Oh. Well, that's an ugly name. Give it a nicer name, form two, right? <laughs> About. Ah, oh, today is not typing day for me. Okay. And let's see. Yeah. And let's let's try it. About. Yeah, and there's you know, you put whatever you, you like. Um Similarly, you might want to uh, know, well, yeah, what if you want to get rid of, whoops, what if you want to get rid of this maximize button? You can do that quite easily. No no code even needed. Um, uh, it's up here, maximize box equals false. That removes it. See? Let's try it. Right, can't maximize it anymore. So, all right, let me see if there's any other useful tools I can show you just to get you kind of started. And then, as you need to know more and more, you can use this program and other resources you find online and stuff. You know, that really helps. Um, let's see, what else interesting could we find? It's all kinds of awesome stuff. Hey, let's do this. Um, Let's go to our form two here. Let's let's add a scroll bar. See, I'm going to do something interesting. Let's add a scroll bar. Actually, no. Let's delete. Let's delete our label. So you just right click and click delete. Let's add a text box. This will be this will be interesting. You can make a text box not seem like a text box. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So click this little arrow. Select multi line and then size it however you like. And this is where we get into some cool stuff. So I'm going to just put it, see, I'm used to it like this. So I'm going to so go to back color. And instead of window, scroll up and select control. And then you see it's basically the same color, but we still have a problem. There's a little border there, and we want to get rid of that. So border style, none. Ha! Huh, it's invisible. Now, censor, center some text. I'm just going to put a lot of text because this is what I'm meaning to show you. Whoops. Um, well, hold on. Let me see. There we go. That'll go across the screen faster. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Actually, Make it even more fun. Let's make this smaller. You'll see what I'm getting to in a minute. So now select the text box. Oh, scroll bars. You want to say both. See, so you've got none, horizontal, vert vertical. We want to try both. We're going to try both. Click save, start, about. Hey, look at that. See? Now, of course, if we made it. Uh, if we made it bigger, a little bit, then you could see the uh, text there. How about this? Now, unfortunately, you can't 
over here you can't right click and say copy you know you have to you have to do the cert control C um, shortcut and then just control V control V let's try something like that let's make this bigger just so you can see how the scroll bar really actually works you know what a scroll bar is I know but So you can see that's it's another very useful thing you'll need to know about. C. So I think I'll leave you there for this time because the rest is starting to get more complicated, but that's just a good way to get you started. Um so now you know how to create a project and you know a few small little pieces of code to you can use. Uh so just use the resources in um, the Learn Visual Basic program to learn more. Uh thanks for watching. Bye bye.